Switching out of S mode is not that difficult. If you don't know how to do it, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can check the tutorial. However, if you're trying to switch out of S mode on a Windows 11 or even Windows 10 and you're unsuccessful at it and might have received the following error, try that again, something happened in our end, waiting a bit my help, then this video is for you. So today I just got a new Acer laptop and while trying to switch out of S mode, I kept receiving the message, try that again, something happened on our end, waiting a bit my help. In most cases, the issue is quite simple and usually might be due to glitches or wrong settings on the Microsoft Store app and probably resetting the app should help restore normalcy. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Shibabs and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm gonna share with you some steps I tried and finally what I did to fix the situation. Let's start with a very simple method to fix this error. First step is to update Windows. So what you just do is you just go to Windows. You can either press the start button and go directly to settings or you can just go to search and write settings and then you have this pop-up now you go and you click on update and security from there you select windows updates from the left pane and click on check for updates definitely just make sure that the pc is up to date with the recent windows update after you finish updating you might want to restart your computer and then try and log into microsoft store look for the switch out of s mode app and this should or might fix your problem if not if it doesn't we might want to go to step two you might want to set the date and time to do this you also have to go to settings remember you can click on start and go to settings or you just might want to click on search and just write settings a window will pop up and from there you look for date and time and you're going to set it from there if that doesn't work you might want to go to troubleshooter which is going to be step three to run the windows store apps troubleshooter you select the start button and then select settings from there you go to troubleshoot and from the list that you're going to see you select windows store apps then you run the troubleshooter that should resolve your problem if it doesn't you might want to go to step four switch user account it's as easy as that the same thing you select the start button you go to settings and then from settings you just switch user accounts or just create a new administrator account and retry steps to switch out of s mode i had to do that i used to have a gmail i don't know i'm not quite sure if that caused part of the problems but i know that i had to switch from gmail to outlook if that doesn't work either you might want to try another step which brings us to step five which is repair reset or reinstall microsoft store in this case you might want to press windows key and r at the same time this will open run alternatively you can go to start and just search for run in run dialog box you type ws reset and hit enter that should automatically reset your microsoft store if that doesn't work you might also want to go to reset your stuff directly from settings and then you go to apps and features here you look for microsoft store advanced options and then you click on reset doesn't work we might want to go to next step which is gonna be like step 7 reinstall Microsoft services so you want to go to search right click and run as administrator double click on Microsoft Store install services change startup type to automatic and then press start apply and ok 
These also could or should restore, should solve the problem. If not, we go to the next one. Just make sure you are correctly logged into Microsoft Store. You might want to sign out of Microsoft Store and then sign in again to the Microsoft Store and check if you're able to switch out of S mode. If it doesn't work, we're going to try this last step, which is what worked for me. I just changed location. I changed country. To do this, you just go to settings and go to date and time. Here, you're going to find options to change location or country. I hope we've been able to give you enough information about how to switch out of Windows S mood, especially when you're having tried out again, something happened on our end, waiting a bit might help. If you have any comments, leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos. Bye.